Hi everybody, my name is Israel and I am a librarian at the Jacinto City Branch Library. Today we're going to learn how to place images on surfaces like a wooden block. Feel free to try other surfaces to do this project on, just be aware that this will work better if the surface is slightly porous. We tried doing this method on a ceramic square and the quality wasn't as good because the image didn't stick completely. Um, these pictures have a rustic feel and they're standalone without a picture frame, making them perfect for your desk or office. The materials we will need are wooden blocks or squares or whatever you want to put your image on, Mod Podge and a brush, images sized to your wooden block printed on regular paper, and some scissors. The pieces of wood can be recycled from any ongoing project you have going on in your home. Or if you go to your local hardware store, you can buy the lumber and have them uh, cut into the sections that you need. I'm going to show you quickly how to resize your selected photos on Word. In a blank document, select Insert from the menu at the top, then Pictures and Picture from File, and then find the photo that you're looking for. Repeat if you're using multiple photos. Brightly colored photos work best. As you can see here, by default, my ruler is showing. If the ruler is invisible to you, click on the View menu at the top of the screen and make sure the ruler is checked. From there, select the image you want to resize, then click and drag the corner of it to resize it. I use the rulers at the top and the left to help, but as you can see, my computer shows me the measurements of the image as I shrink it. And now we cut our images. If you want a brighter, less rustic look, apply a thin layer of white paint. I used acrylic for this one. And if you want to put an image on each side of the block, you can. You just have to fully complete one side before you go back to do the other side. First, we apply a layer of Mod Podge on the image itself. Make sure to get all the edges. I'm doing this over a scrap sheet of paper so as not to get Mod Podge on the table. Then you apply it face down on the wooden block. Go slowly if you need to if you want to avoid air bubbles. Make sure to push the bubbles out gently so as not to rip the paper. And make sure the edges are fully stuck. If you go around the edge a little bit, it's not a problem. Once it dries, take a damp piece of cloth or a high quality napkin and gently roll off the paper in a circular motion. Be careful when focusing on specific sections as you may wear off the image. And here's our final product. If you have a sealant or something you're going to put like a top coat on it, you can feel free to do that now. It'll make the image last longer. But there we go.